another sustainable YXC video. Um, this is going to be another one with a little sustainable action you can do to make your life a little bit uh, more on the low waste side. And of course, I'm joining you from my home, which is located in Tree Six Territory in the traditional homeland of Metis. The recipe we have for you today um, one is going to be how to make uh, vegetable broth out of kitchen scraps. The part we have here is going to be um, part of our scrap recipe. So I've been collecting my scraps while cooking during the week. So I have some kind of wobbly celery in here. I have onion peel and the tough outer edge, um, even some tomato, carrot ends. And you can use both ends of the carrot, the, the rooty end and the other skinny end and the peels. There's some uh, garlic skins and ends in here. And I also collect them and put them in the freezer. So if I have um, just a little bit from cooking, I'll throw it in a jar and keep adding to that in the freezer. And then when I have either a big enough container after having done a bunch of produce cooking during the week, or after I have several jars in the freezer, then I'll make my vegetable broth from the scraps. I'm gonna dump this in the pot. Then I'm just gonna get some of my frozen scraps here that I've been saving. And you'll see this one has a bit of orange pepper in it. But you can use just about anything. You just really want to avoid um, bitter things like broccoli, um, kind of the dark green things. Might make your broth a bit too bitter. Play around with the scrap mix that you do use. And if you are freezing your scraps, make sure that you add them in frozen. If you thaw them first, they'll be quite mushy. So it'll still work, it'll just be kind of a bit grosser and not quite as flavorful. And then this jar I have mushroom ends, which are really nice, some more onion. Onion peel. And if you get to this point in your frozen stuff where it's stuck, you can just fill the jar with water. On. Make sure it's tight and give it a shake. And that, make sure it's tight, I didn't. And that will loosen up the really hard frozen on stuff because you're adding water anyway. And then just pour it into your pot. So some stuck, add a bit more water. If you know you're really low on onion and you think the flavor won't be as nice, you can always add a bit of fresh onion. So now my pot's pretty full. All these scraps, some of the fresh stuff um, and some of that frozen stuff. Here's a little note on the tomato. You can even use the vine. Some people that like to add some spices to it right away. You can see it has a nice rich color this time. That's probably because we had a lot of carrots and the onion skins will make it a bit darker too. So every time you make this recipe, um, the color will be a little bit different just based on what scraps you have on hand and um, the flavor might be a bit different, which is really fun because you can experiment. You can maybe save up um, some fresh ginger and put in there would be really good too. Um, yeah, just see what kind of scraps you can, what flavors you like best and save those up in particular. So I'll compost these once they cool down, and once this cools down, I'll pour it into jars, and then I can store it in the fridge or the freezer. I'll also post a few pictures here um, with some low-waste kitchen recipe books and some low-waste gardening books that you can check out um, through the Zestin Public Library. So I hope you check out some of these low-waste actions and give them a try in your own kitchen, see what you like, and have a great day.